Hi everyone. Today's agenda is to learn how to pass parameters from FlexCard to the OmniScript and Velocity. So let's quickly begin. So first of all, I'm creating an OmniScript. I'm just saving it. Now, the moment we create an OmniScript, we get a step. On that step, I'm just showing a text field over here, text block, drag and drop here. And uh, I'm going to show a parameter named account ID, okay? Now you will think, where is this parameter? So right now we don't need to make this parameter here. We'll pass it from FlexCard to here, okay? This is account ID. The moment I make it, it gets created in my Omni script in the backend. ACC ID, okay? Let's copy this one. Okay, I'll save this Omni script. So now our Omni script has got saved. Let's go to the flex card. I'll create a new flex card here. So the name was test flex one, right? Let me refresh. So here it is test flex one. I'll go into that. So in step one of our Omni script, we have declared a variable called ACC ID. Now I want to pass the same from here, right? So what I'm going to do is, first of all, this flex card, I'll be putting in some, let's say, lightning record page, flexi page. So uh, how the flows work, you know, right? We just have to use record ID. And that record ID variable fetches the current records ID, right? It picks up the current record ID. So that's what happens in flex card also. So what am I trying to convey here is this is my flex card. Now let me go here and drag and drop action away. Now this action is going to be my Omni script. So I'll say Omni script, which Omni script do I want to call? So I'm going to say test OS one. Now, what parameters do I want to pass? I want to pass the current records ID. So over here, I'm going to write record ID. This that I've written, this will capture the current records ID from the lightning record page and it will pass to this variable. So what variable have I named here? Account ID, right? So I'm just going to do here one thing. I'll copy account ID and all I need to do is append a C, prepend a C, I would say, C underscore underscore. Yeah, it's small C underscore underscore, whatever the variable name was there in the Omni script. And I'm going to activate this. Now let me go to some account. 
let's say this one. Let me edit the page. And your I'll try to search test flex one. So here we see text flex one. I drag and drop over here. Save. This page is already active, this lightning record page. So I don't need to activate it. Coming here now. The moment I'll click on this, it is going to open my OmniScript one and it has passed the ID. So what we did here, when we added that flex card over here, the record ID variable which we had in that flex card picked up this record ID. Okay, the it ends with T-N-A-A-J. And the moment we passed it to the Omni script. In that step, we had displayed that ID that we got, right? So this is what. So again, I'll show you. This is how we pass the parameter. Let me go to the action. Uh, the variable name that I've declared in my Omni script, that is, I am adding a C underscore underscore at the beginning. And how I get the current records ID is by writing it in exact same way. R small, I capital, D small. Okay. And enclosed in curly braces. And then here when I am, I and if I want to display that value, I've uh, added a text block and here it's enclosed with a percentage sign. So that's about passing the ID. Now let us assume that the, uh, not the next scenario that I'm talking about is, let's assume that we also want to get the type and the phone number of the account that we are fetching, not just the ID. But uh, using this way that I showed you, like record ID uh, already picks the ID of the current record, that just works for getting the record ID. But what if I want to pass the type and phone number also? then what should we do from the flex card? So let's do that. So I go to the flex card, deactivate this. By the way, uh, in real time, when you work in some project or something, you should always create a new version and work on it. But this is just uh, for our sake, so it's okay. So I go to the setup. And in setup, we have data source type. So instead of none, I would say software query. Now I'll copy the same query here. The difference is just that I'm going to say record ID that is within single quotes. And here, the moment you add the record ID over there, you will also add some dummy record ID here and you will see save and fetch button at the end. The moment I do that, I can see that it has retrieved properly. So we know that, okay, at least the flex card is working properly. And I would do say, okay. Now, let me also pass. So I'll click on this action and I'll land up in the properties. I've already passed the input parameters, right? So I'm going to pass two more things. C underscore underscore phone and C underscore underscore type okay now you will see auto prompt over here whichever you have taken in your query there <laughs> you can see those you can select over here i would say type also and i'll activate this now let's go to our test os1 also And over here also, let us display the two new parameters that we added. So again, I would go like this. C 
save and activate. Yes, so this is done. Let me refresh. So now we see the ID, we see the phone number, we see the time. That's about it. Thank you. If this video helped, please like, share and subscribe. Also, if you want to register for the development crash course, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much.